Hello, I'm Hugh and I'm going to be doing a quick how it works video um, showing off the face generation aspect of Warsim. So we've got the nice new 6.5 version of Warsim and I'm not going to make really much of a difference but we're going to run in and we're going to check out face generation. So um, first of all let's actually view it in action. So we're going to go to extras, random generators and face generation. So we've got quite a lot of generators and they generate these sort of strange looking faces of these wonderful ugly people you'll find in this world. So we've got orcs and what you'll notice is the number below showing how many possible. There are obviously more human faces than there are goblins. Um, we've got mermen and basically by the end of this video hopefully you'll you'll understand exactly how I do that. So we've got quite a lot of different kinds. So I'm not going to go into any more of those. So let's look at, for example, mermen. There are currently, um, how many is that? 167 million different mermen faces. They sort of vary a little bit here and there. And we're going to go and we're going to change this. So first things first, we need to go to our folder and we're going to open this file. So what you'll notice is when you download Warsim, you'll get a data folder. Inside the data folder, you'll have all this crap. Now, there is a folder within this folder called Faces. And in here, you'll notice seven wonderful files, each of which contain a bunch of jargon. Now, these are slot face pieces, I don't know what to call them, um, but each of them is sort of a single slot. So a piece from this, 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 and a piece from this, equals a face. So you've got, you know, the top, what tends to be the eyes, or the eye, no, sorry, top, so like forehead or hair, eyebrows, eyes, nose and ears, mouth, lower mouth, chin. Sort of how it tends to go, but it varies obviously by mile. So let's just disable that and we'll uh, check out this file. So this is the first file, face zero. Now we're going to try and find the mermen people. Now where are they? So number one, basically to explain the file, what, what probably looks a bit like jargon to you at the moment, we have um, everything is isolated by line. So first we have a number which indicates what kind of race this face part belongs to. Number one, of course, is humans. So this is a human face part. The full stop here is what's known in programming as a delimiter, which basically tells the program to stop reading here. Then it, when it reads again, it's going to read from here onwards, and this is what will be the face part. So there will always be this much space between human faces. Now we're going to try and find seamen. So number two, number three, number four, and I believe five is semen as this is visible right here so let's think of I mean there's not actually that many to be fair there are okay there are a few more than I noticed but I think we can do better than that so let's come up with a few um, to do with these plus signs I think I can probably come up with a few more ideas from there okay, so there's one and let's create another one. And one more for luck. Okay, so we've created, what was that, three? Three or four? I can't even remember. My brain is not working today. So we've created three pieces. Three pieces. Um, hmm. Actually, I quite like. Right, we can do better than that. We've created three pieces, but we're going to do more. By doubling them up. And then we are going to. So 
So we've now created... We've created a few, I can't even bother counting them. So currently, 167650560. Now this is a live system. So the moment I save this file, like now, it's for live update. When we generate a new set of faces. And you just watch this number change. Bam! 243 million. So that's quite a change. And um, we're going to see if we can find one of the faces we've just created. Um, okay. Here we go. So here's here is a few of them, I think. And we know this one is definitely one of the ones we just created. So it's not too bad. And we've 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 added quite a few million new faces just by that slight modification you know just a few little extra lines here and this file is obviously quite big there's quite a lot of different things in here hundreds of lines and this is completely player editable so you can add your own whenever you want so that is how the face generator works um, so it's pretty simplistic um, but it works quite well and obviously there's no there's no problems with it no errors um, but if you use any full stops, they count as limiters and it breaks everything. So I guess that's one downside is there can't be any full stops in these, which is obviously why we're using these strange commas instead of full stops as part of the face generator. But yeah, I hope that's cleared some things up for people who uh, are interested in that. And anyone who downloads the game, you have complete access to these files, so you're, you're able to modify faces however you like, whether you want to remove them all, or add your own kinds, or mess around with them. It's completely doable um, just as I've shown you here and these few thousand million faces I've just added will be going in the latest version as part of the change logs so it's an update for everyone who's watching as well um, so thanks for watching I hope this has uh, explained some things for you guys and uh, stay tuned because there's plenty more coming okay thanks for watching